So I was up late at night watching cartoons, eating a jar of peanut butter, which is a pretty typical Saturday night for me, and I had a terrifying thought. What if Tailspin, the cartoon about bears flying planes, is actually a terrifying sequel to The Jungle Book about animals taking over the world? Our first piece of evidence is the song from The Jungle Book called I Wanna Be Like You. If you haven't heard it in a while, you're like, oh yeah, it's about a bear dancing with monkeys in a grass skirt, it's super cute. No, in fact, it is about a monkey king declaring his intentions to become like mankind and take their power for a higher empire. Also, it's in the ruins of like an ancient civilization, which is also just creepy as hell. In the song, King Louis states that he wishes to walk like a human, I wanna walk like you, talk like a human, talk like you. and he also expresses a disappointment that he feels like he's stuck at the current ring of the animal food chain. He wants to have mankind's fire and their power to ascend to a new, higher level. And be just like the other men. I'm tired of walking around. So what if after the events of Jungle Book, King Louis actually succeeded and got some of mankind's power and then took over all of humanity? And then instead of just getting fire, they got planes and buildings and tacky Hawaiian shirts. After this mass genocide of the human race, they decided to build a town in a place called Crepe Suzette, which is a fun wordplay of a French word for a dessert called a Crepe Suzette, which is wordplay that no kid will get or appreciate. There, Baloo opened up a plane delivery service called Hire for Hire, run by a female bear named Rebecca, who I think is supposed to be attractive, but it's hard to tell because she's a bear, and found a sidekick in the sky surfing bear named Kit, which I think is also physically impossible. Meanwhile, King Louie opens up a bar, because why not, and Shere Khan, well, Shere Khan is a tough businessman running Khan Enterprises. Is it Shere Khan or Shere? I never... Shere Khan. Shere Khan, okay. The only one missing is Bagheera, which is a little weird because he's such a main character in the Jungle Book, but maybe he actually existed and just passed away in the Great War. Oh yeah, the Great War! That's a thing, that's canon! In the episode Bygones, Blue references a thing called the Great War, which ended 20 years ago. While we don't know exactly what the Great War is, it definitely could be an animal uprising. In Tailspin, Baloo's name is actually Baloo von Bearwald the 13th, which translates to mean he is the 13th in a long line of bears from the Brown Forest. Or jungle. It's the same thing, basically. Before I start poking holes in my own wonderful theory, let me tell you some fun facts about Tailspin. Do you know that two episodes of Tailspin are banned? Well, one permanently banned and one only temporarily banned. The first episode was called Lost Horizons and was supposedly stereotyping Asian culture. Tisk tisk. The second episode was called Flying Dupes and was temporarily banned for having references to terrorism. Fun animals committing acts of terrorism. Also, did you know that Tailspin was nominated for an Emmy in 1991? Or that Tailspin is spelled T-A-L-E, even though it should totally be T-A-I-L because it's about animals with tails and T-A-I-L is the, the appropriate term for planes. It's very confusing. There are a few holes in my theory thanks to the behind the scenes history of the show. In an interview on animationresource.org, one of the show's creators, Jim Magon, admitted that the show was basically a last minute idea. Magon was already working on a show about Baloo and other secondary Disney characters that got rejected. Desperate for an idea, he recalled a plot from an earlier episode of DuckTales he wrote that would give Launchpad McQuack his own air delivery service. He just swapped out the ducks for bears, and there you go, Tailspin. Same thing. So Tailspin was definitely a last minute idea, meaning that any characters and their placement in the show, it's really just kind of them filling in the blanks. Like, ah, oh, you got King Louie, sure, he can run the bar. Tigers are businessmen, sure, there you go. So since this is my own personal theory, it seems very unfair for me to rate it. Why don't you in the comments tell me how good this theory is? And it's, it's pretty good, right? It's pretty solid. Bears are scary. Well guys, thanks for letting me yell at you about Tailspin for a while. If you want to check out other awesome cool conspiracies, there's a link to last week's episode right here. And there's also preview information on the next episode right around here as well. Also, you can check out other cool things like Saturday morning cartoons and Toons Day and information on how to join the Fred Render Network. Thanks for watching.